If after watching this video you think you'd like to try this recipe, be absolutely sure to watch the very end of this video for some comments I've got about what I would have changed and done so differently. We're make some Cornish game hens on the next grill, gas grill. Throw these on the rotisserie. So we're going to get these opened up right now, dry them off, put a little kosher salt on them, and put them in the refrigerator uncovered overnight. Let them dry out so we get a nice crispy skin on them. All right, so we got these opened up. We took some paper towel and we dried these really well inside and out. Want to get these as dry as we can in the refrigerator overnight so that we'll get some nice crispy skin. Now, we're not going to get too carried away with this salt, but just enough to pull some more moisture out of that skin. That's what we're shooting for. We don't want to make it too salty. We are going to add some spices and rubs. So we don't want to get carried away with the salt. Just a little bit to help dry it. And I think that should be about enough and we're going to take this rack so we get a good airflow underneath. Put our Cornish game hens on here. Put that in the refrigerator overnight, let it get nice and dry, and we'll check back when we get started. We've had the Cornish game hens in the refrigerator now for 12 hours. You can see they're nice and dried out. When we put these on the spit, you see we've got a wide opening here for these cavities and they don't sit real well on the spit. So we're gonna correct that. We're gonna use a pineapple. Cut this top off of this. Clean it up on the sides. Once we get this done, we're going to create something to put on the spit that will not only give us some added flavor, but will fill in this chicken cavity. So we're going to cut this like this, all the usable pineapple, and now we're going to use this on the spit to fill in that cavity. You may have to trim it up a little bit more than that to make it fit right. That should be perfect. So we'll put that on the spit. Now we're gonna take this pineapple, we'll cut it up and use it for some other things. All right, so the pineapple is all trimmed up. This is what we were after. This section here is gonna go on the spit birds will come on to this we're going to get some good flavor out of this and hold those birds the way we want them so what we're going to do now that these birds are all dried out we took some of the pineapple we just trimmed mashed it up a little bit so we get some juice we're going to take this and rub it all over as a binder and get this nice and covered That's gonna work really well to hold my seasonings and the rubs. All right. Now that we've got the Cornish game hens covered with pineapple juice to use as a binder, we're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder, not too much, just a little bit for some flavor. Just give it that little bit of garlic flavor. Next, we're going to use some Far Out Foods smoked apple butter rub. If you haven't tried this, this stuff is amazing. Got a great flavor. So we're going to generously put some of this on the birds. A 
This just gives it such a great flavor. I've done chicken and pork with this now, and I really love the Far Out Food smoked apple butter rub. Far Out Foods Pineapple Twist. Give this just a little bit of heat. And that should all stick pretty well. Now we're going to put this back on the rack, back in the refrigerator for a few hours until it's ready to go on the spit. And we're going to take some of this pineapple that we used as a binder, put a little bit in each cavity, and get some good flavor going on inside, rub that around in there so we get the seasoning in there. Put this back in the refrigerator. We'll see you in a couple of hours. We're getting ready to put those Cornish game hens on a spit. This is a smoke tube. If you've never used one, we just filled this up with some cherry pellets. That's going to burn about three and a half to four hours easily. What we're going to do is we're going to get this going really well with a propane torch. Once we can get some flames coming out of this and it's lit pretty well, you go ahead and let that burn for about 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure it's lit really well. When you fill your smoke tube, be sure and tap it on the ground a couple of times after it's filled. It'll pack those pellets in nice and tight. And get a little bit longer burn out of it. So now that that's going, like I said, we're going to let that go about 10, 15 minutes. Let it get burning real well. We'll turn it on its side. We're going to put it on the left side of the grill, to, or the, pardon me, the right side of the grill today. Wind is coming from that side, so we want the smoke to blow through the chamber as much as we possibly can. We're going to get those Cornish game hens on the spit. We'll be right back with you. Okay, so these birds have been in the refrigerator now, seasoned up, drying out again, about five hours. We've taken what we cut out of that pineapple, we ran our knife down in through it a few times because the spit will go through that hard core a lot easier. So we're going to start off with the first Cornish game hen. We'll get that on the spit. Then we're going to put this pineapple on. Hopefully I cut that enough that that's going to go through there easily. Well, not quite close. Oh no, that's not going to work. Uh, it's a learning experience. So we should still be able to get this down inside of that cavity to hold that. That should work. We're going to get this other Cornish game hen on here. Get that to go up in that cavity. I think that's going to work. Didn't quite go through like I planned, but one thing I've learned over the years, barbecue is not an exact science, that's for sure. Constant learning curve. So now with that nice and tight on there, we're just going to tie up these legs a little bit so they're not flopping around. Doesn't have to be a lot just want to hold them in place if we can. Uh, fingers are wet. It's very hard to get a hold of that. Well, let's do it a different way here. There we go. Same thing on the other side here. I 
very hard when your fingers are slippery. That should hold that. Now we're going to tuck these wings into these forks. That should hold those pretty well. Oh, that one's not going to be long enough, I don't think. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, that one may not hold. This one definitely will. It's on there. Yeah, we'll bring this one up through here if we can get it. Still got one flopping around, so we'll come up through this. And that should hold that. So we'll get that centered on the grill, and that should work pretty well. Oh, by the way, we're celebrating Wheeler Wednesday today. If you're not following Bill Wheeler on Twitter, you're missing the boat. That man is a wealth of knowledge. We'll see you in a minute when we get this on the spit, guy. Get it on the reel. We're getting ready to put those Cornish game hens on a spit. This is a smoke tube. If you've never used one, we just filled this up with some cherry pellets. That's going to burn about three and a half to four hours easily. What we're going to do is we're going to get this going really well with a propane torch. Once we can get some flames coming out of this and it's lit pretty well, we can go ahead and let that burn for about 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure it's lit really well. When you fill your smoke tube, be sure and tap it on the ground a couple of times after it's filled. It'll pack those pellets in nice and tight. And get a little bit longer burn out of it. So now that that's going, like I said, we're gonna let that go about 10, 15 minutes. Let it get burning real well. We'll turn it on its side. We're gonna put it on the left side of the grill, to, or the, pardon me, the right side of the grill today. Wind is coming from that side. So we want the smoke to blow through the chamber as much as we possibly can. We're gonna get those Cornish game hens on the spit. We'll be right back with you. We've got the next grill in full swing. Best gas grill I've ever owned with the infrared only on runs right at 300 degrees which is a nice temperature so with the infrared on what we're going to try to do here is we're just going to char up the outer skin for about 10 15 minutes then we're going to crank this down to a very low heat one burner on low usually keeps me right at 200 degrees if there's not a lot of wind so we'll get this going by on here about an hour uh, we've got some sides to go in here after that I think it's going to be a pretty good dinner. We'll keep you posted as we go along here, guys. Now that the Cornish game hens have been on the spit for about an hour, we're going to get some sides ready to go on. Some Hillshire Farm smoked andouille sausage. We're going to take a baked potato here, coat it with some oil, season it all up with some Montreal steak seasoning from McCormick's. Very good, very good stuff. Gonna put some butter on this corn, a little bit of slap your mama, give that a real nice flavor. So we'll get these wrapped up in the foil, get them on the grill. We've had our sides on now for about an hour. Got a little margarita working here to celebrate Wheeler Wednesday. Been running right about 200 degrees for the last couple hours. We're gonna get a temperature reading on these. We put our sides on and Dewey sausage. Corn on the cob, slap your mama. McCormick's Montreal steak seasoning on this baked potato. We wanted this as close to the smoke as we can get. It really will accept that smoke well. It gives it a great flavor. So let's get a reading here and see where we're at. We want to be at 165, but long before we get there, we're going to turn the infrared back on and really crisp these things up. We're about 137 in the breast there. Uh, 130, 131 over here. Looks like our leg, about 115, 14.
125, 26, 27 over here. So we're going to give this a few more minutes at the temperature we're at. When we get it up a little bit more, we're going to turn that infrared on and let it go to town, put the finishing touches on this. Cheers, everybody. We'll be back. We are ready to pull this off. I just wanted to give you guys one last look. It is smelling amazing out of here. We've got the Cornish game hens up to the temp we're looking for. And Dooley sausage is ready. Corn on the cob. Baked potato. We're about three, a little over three hours in, and that smoke tube is still kicking a lot of smoke. Very nice. So we'll get this on the plate and let you get a look at it, guys. So everything is finished. We've got this plated. The Andouille sausage smells amazing. Cornish game hen is ready. So nice. Baked potato, sour cream, and butter. Corn on the cob. Ice cold margarita. Thanks for watching, everybody. I know this was a little long, but I hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to your comments. Thank you. Just a quick postscript, guys. The flavors on these Cornish game hens was spot on. It was so delicious. Using the pineapple to fill those cavities made that meat a little bit more mushy than I would have liked. I think in the future I'll return to using lemons and limes to fill those cavities and balance that out on the spit.